Welcome to Metroplex Today. I'm your host, Cheryl Nason, and we have a dynamic duo seated on the set with me today that I cannot wait to introduce you to. It's Arielle Ekstadt and David Sterry, and we're going to talk about their book that every wannabe author out there needs to get a copy of, Putting Your Passion Into Print. Welcome, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. It's so great to much. be here. Thanks. How did this come about? Well, uh, we had written a book together about a Satchel Paige, who was a Negro Leagues baseball legend, and he was a hero of mine, someone I'm very passionate about, and Ariel had written a book about Jane Austen, who's her hero. <laughs> Those Pride so, and Prejudice glasses have me today. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we were, it was our first book, both of us, so we were very excited about how to publicize it, and so we um, called up bookstores and said, we'd love to come to an event at your store, and they said, well, if you can bring Satchel Paige or Jane Austen down to the store with you, we'd love to do an event, but otherwise, they were completely uninterested. So Ariel is a literary agent also, and so we were at a party one day, and word got out that there was a literary agent in the house, and people swarmed around her like moths to the flame. And we realized there are a lot of people with great ideas who have great books in them. They just don't have the, the knowledge of how to get their idea out. So we put together a, um, a workshop called Putting Your Passion Into Print, about how to take the things you love and make a book out of them. And we did a tour that we set up ourselves, and then one of Ariel's friends got us onto national public radio, and then we ended up at Stanford, and then um, the publisher of um, our book, Peter Workman, heard us on the radio and uh, asked us if we would like to do a book with him, and we said, well, yes, we would. Very much, <laughs> thank oh, you. Oh, darn. Yes, right, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Well, you know, as well as I know, that when you're in a place and someone, you, you have a book, yeah. and so you say, oh yes, we have a book. Mm -hmm. Someone always says, oh, well I could write a novel, or mm -hmm. oh, I could write a book, or mm -hmm. I've been told that I should. Right, right. So there are so many people out yeah. there, and this business is not like they think it is, no. is it? It's no, really not, not at all. Well, first of all, we've heard a study that says that 81% of people think they have a book in them. I'm yeah. sure okay. you're, <laughs> I believe those figures. Yeah, yeah. and almost 200,000 books get published every year. So if you think about, there are generally about 400 movie releases a year versus almost 200,000 books. So on the one hand, you have a much better shot of getting a book published than a movie made, which is great. But at the same time, you know, people think, have a very romantic notion of what it means to be a writer, that you know, you sit in your cabin by the lakeside yeah, writing, and write et cetera, and send it off, and, and, send it off. Exactly. and <laughs> We're all Henry David Thoreau, right. aren't we? Right. That's, right. Right. That's right. That's right. But these days, publishing is so much about the publicity and the marketing efforts that the author has to make themselves. Let's talk about the contents of the book. Let's okay. give the viewers an overview, sure. and then let's pick out some areas. I mean, I, you two are the experts, so I really would like to get the viewers to hear right. what you really think are the most important pieces. So let's give them an overview and then talk about some important stuff. Okay. So well, our book, Putting Your Passion to Print, is a step-by-step, blow-by-blow explanation of how to take an idea you're passionate about, make a book out of it, get it published, and deliver it into the hands, heads, and hearts of readers all over the world. That's what our book is. David, I love that. <laughs> Thank you. Hands, heads, and hearts of readers all over the world. Yes. You should make a bumper sticker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make a bumper should. sticker. Well, where do we start? Okay. I mean, so, do we sit down yeah. at, the, at the computer, the typewriter, with a yellow pad in our hands? Where do we start? So people always ask, how do I know what a good idea right. is? Okay, so the idea is the seed that you everything else has to come out of. Right. And the idea you have, and the reason we called our book Putting Your Passion Into Print, is that it has to be an idea you're passionate about. Because it, there's a very good chance if your book gets published, you're gonna spend years on this project. And even if it doesn't get published right away, the pursuing, the dream to get published can take years. So if you don't have that stamina to take it through all the different steps, then you're gonna have a really hard time. 15 years. I was yeah. trying to get a book published for 15 yeah. years. And so wow. you back up. I mean, I wound up, I've written like four different things, mm -hmm. one fiction, which mm -hmm. we started talking about, and then three or four nonfiction, and you, it's like, if you'll pardon an old southern expression, you know, it's like making mud pies. Right. You, you get the mud, the consistency mm -hmm. that you wanted, you've got your project the way that you think it will look good to yeah. an agent yes. or a yeah. publisher. You throw the mud on the fence. Yeah. 
takes over a decade yeah, for a lot of people to get a book published. Yeah. So we think the next most important thing after your passion is to figure out whether your idea has an audience out there. You have to figure out, are there a lot of people interested in your idea? And if there are, how are you going to get your book into their heads, into their hands, and into their hearts? So that part, there's three basic components that we think are essential to being successful to, in the book world. Research, so finding out where your audience is. Networking, talking to other writers who have agents, talking to other writers who've been successful, talking to other, being in writing groups meeting other people. We were in a writing group. I was in a writing group with uh, a man called Khaled Hosseini, who wrote The Kite Runner. Well, now The Kite Runner's become one of the most successful pieces of fiction ever. When I was in the book group with him, he didn't even have a and met other writers. So that's research, networking, and then writing. We have so many people who come up to us and they say, oh, I have a great idea. I'm going to be on Oprah. It's such a great idea. And then they tell us the idea. And oftentimes it is a good idea. And we say, well, give us a chapter. Oh, well, I haven't written it yet. but <laughs> it's, it's just like you say when people say, oh, well, I could write a novel. Yes. Could is different then, than did. Yeah. You're exactly right. I mean, the idea is there, yeah. but the follow through, that's right. yeah, see that's yeah. the hard part, yeah. and yeah. people yes. don't realize unless they sit down and really start to put the ideas down yeah. somewhere. Right. For me, I really like to use a yellow pad. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. something about the mm -hmm. flow from the head mm -hmm. to the hand yeah. to the mm -hmm. paper yes. that I find interesting. Now, the computer, I'm one of those fiction writers that yeah. sees the story, it flows in my yeah. head, it's like watching a movie. Mm -hmm. That's my process, and it just happens. Yes. And then you rewind it when it doesn't work, and yeah. you mm -hmm. do the scene again. Mm -hmm. But there's something about that flow for me. I guess it's because I'm a kinesthetic person that's important. Right. Well, we actually recommend that you get a special book and a special pen for yeah. every project. Why not? Just because of exactly what you're saying. It gives, it, you know, it, it somehow inspires creative yeah. flow when you have something that's dedicated to your project. And for you, it's that yellow pad that yeah. makes, it, that makes yeah. it flow. Yeah. 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 And I, sat, I sat on a plane. I was writing a death scene in, mm -hmm. in this novel, and I was killing one of my characters, and it was excruciatingly mm -hmm. painful emotionally mm -hmm. and I had these tears mm -hmm. you know kind of quietly running down my eyes and I'm writing this stuff so there's a person sitting next to me and they said are you all right I said mm -hmm. oh I'm just killing one of my characters <laughs> they didn't talk to me for the rest of the flight <laughs> I mean, you know, it's one of those things right. something comes into my head that yeah. that is a thread mm -hmm. of what you said David is this really all about marketing now mm -hmm. and how marketable is my idea? Mm -hmm. Well, we just uh, were talking to someone at a workshop we did uh, yesterday. They had gotten their manuscript to a publisher, a very good publisher, and the editor and one of the chief publishers loved the book. Then it got sent over to the sales department, and the sales department said, we don't know how to sell the book, and that killed the deal. Uh, it's really sad that sales departments are now, in, in many ways, dictating what gets published and what doesn't get published, whether they think they can sell the book or not. And the new buzzword in publishing is platform. What's your platform? So, you know, for you, having a television show, that's a yeah, fabulous fantastic platform. platform. Yes, but yes. for many people, they say, you know, well, you know, I don't have a public, I'm not a public speaker, right. I don't teach, et cetera. So how do you get the word out? Now, fortunately, there are ways. marketing and getting the word out via emails. So there's lots and lots of ways to be creative in marketing your book, but you still really have yeah. to be out there pushing it yourself. Yeah. Hmm. Would those ways be detailed in, oh, I don't know, your book? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Surprisingly, yes, maybe they, they are. are. Many, many of them. In fact, we have two very long chapters just on city and marketing. Right.